<coughs> the uh, odd looking thing over there is Craig Ivan. Um, when I heard that there should be a workshop, blue workshop in Europe, uh, okay, I gotta go and I'll come here and tell you about all the exciting stuff that we do with Lua in the uh, ERP system, financial systems, and, and stuff like that. And then I paused for a while and thought, okay, maybe we uh, we have heard enough serious talks. So instead of telling how we use Lua for doing database stuff and distributed computing and also <laughs> web pages also, uh, so okay, we have, we have me and a friend of mine have a small step-down project playing with a robot, and it happens to be running Lua and has run Lua for lots, lots of years. So uh, let's bring it and, and have some fun, uh, which we can do. I, I, di I didn't bring a camera, but it can uh, run, see the line with the camera, and, and navigate that way. But the line sensor is just more sufficient. It's built exactly to that task. So the camera is more of a uh, proof of concept. My, my brother-in-law, who's the other part, uh, works as a uh, computer vision guy. So that's his domain. Um, the Lua code is much more structured. I hope. Uh, hang on a second. Maybe it works. Well, this is the second run of the final of this year's so inverse final in oops, in action. The guillotine. It actually decapitated two Lego robots this year. <laughs> <laughs> so now we get into the racing course, so now it's driving as fast as it can and going round the end on basically two wheels. <laughs> uh, a bit wobbly. Drunk and dry. Yeah. Um, and look, that the floor has different colors just to throw off the robots. That's that's not the event. When we get to the traffic light, whoops, it's red. I think actually it has no idea, so it goes on, and there is a, a small sensor there that looks at the uh, the blinking part to see whatever it blinks, and then um, okay. we won't go through this one. <laughs> <laughs> but through the next one. So we get to the tunnel, and make sure that the magnets on front are. Secure so the door. Um, <laughs> open, open the doors and perform some funky maneuver to make sure that the door has been opened well enough so we have to fly the technology. Open the other door. <laughs> and now we start searching for a golf ball lying on the course. And the cameraman is drawing the first pick. Whoopsie. We've got the golf ball now and we're ready to drive up the ramp. You see, as soon as we're on the uh, odd color floor, the navigation and the regulation get much more uh, uh, disturbed by the, the fact that those tiles are very, very black in infrared light. Ooh, we're getting right this time. <laughs> so, golf ball on the go. And. Oh, down the stairs. So the next uh, task is to drive around the wall, which just is a, a, a you can't really see it. There's a wall and there's no line on the floor, so it has to figure out how long the wall is, and it's expandable, so they can they can make a wall of different lengths. And now we take a small detour, because there were another golf ball on the top of the, uh, the plate, and it wants to go at that golf ball also. So we drive up the ramp, so we get that point that's sitting on the ramp. Also, for people who take the right way down without taking the stairs, there's a point for those. There's two points on the uh, on the stairs, <laughs> and we're missing that one. But then. It will take the opportunity to show you 
how to put a virtual golf ball in the <laughs> <laughs> So now we got the virtual golf ball and we have the ball and the ball clean. <laughs> and just to please the crowd, we go down the stairs one more. So. And this is it. It's the goal. It keeps running, uh, even though it had uh, reached uh, the goal. Because uh, anything is run. And then we follow the line. So if anyone can see, please just come down and, and take a look. The, uh, the sound is making it's primarily because the gearboxes aren't that new anymore. <laughs> uh, but then you can also hear the notated. You are still in the, the OS or is it now running on Linux? It's running Linux now, uh, simply because we need the, uh, the Wi-Fi. And it's just a pain to, to get that and teach IP support uh, without a host. Okay. Uh, now, at, at that point in time, we designed the program. This is four year old. So now there's a lot of uh, evaluation boards that can uh, that can do that, and a lot of uh, C libraries that gives you that capability. But at that point, there were no good solution for it because there were basically no embedded boards that had support for Wi-Fi. Yeah. And if you see a red light, that's actually the, the half bright light blinking. Um, we're waiting for two beats, and there's the other one. Whoops! <laughs> Hang on, let's just do another thing. Let's make sure we actually have a network connection for it. So this is a crash course in Danish. <laughs> Choose a wireless network. Oh yeah. <laughs> And the Dutch people can probably read it. That's the funny thing. I can do the same thing with Dutch for some kind of reason. Yeah, but Ivan is uh, Russian. Well, yeah, I didn't say anything about it. But name Ivan Crazy Ivan. If anyone has seen the uh, the movie uh, Hunt for Red October. Oh, it's good. You will hear a mention of a crazy <coughs> Russian or uh, Soviet U boat maneuver turning around and and sailing against the people who might be following you. We thought that was appropriate name for a, for a robot that you never really knew what it was going to be. It has it's not broken any legs. This year's competition, it pressed the same Lego robot twice. Uh, but, um, and welcome to 2006 and ASCII graphs. <laughs> Um, this is just our live interface. These are the, uh, the eight sensors, the line sensors. Um, 